shields. If you kill the elf and the half-elf, you may live and become my heir. My... My, my eyes are darting between Karun and Arcelia, the two that are also awake at the moment. Surely y you have some sort of a, a use for all of us. There are five of us here. <laughs> of course I do. But right now... Someone to carry on my legacy. An heir must be chosen. And that heir must be bathed in blood. Preferably the blood of elves. I look over to Karun. You can't tell whether Karun is pale or not, because she's always so pale. But Karun is looking over at the little, um, hedgehog. Look, it's, um... <sighs> it's all right. I've... I've been with these people for a long time now, and, um, I like some of them better than others. Sometimes they're impulsive, and sometimes they're rude. But there is no denying that wherever they go, they do what they can to help people. And so, I think it would be the best decision if I could help them. If it if it means helping this group I'm willing to go. What are you saying, Karun? Try to help me get this door open. <laughs> to go where? <laughs> Logically, it makes no sense. Where are you going to go? Here, take this. And I hand Arcelia the key. Delicately. Delicately hand you the key. I take the key. Delicately. Delicately. What's the point of success if we can't help the ones who need it the most? Yara? And, and what is this? Does this... See, now I am quite confused. What does being your heir involve? My eyes are darting between my two colleagues. My heir involves becoming like me. Ah! Like you! Yes. Right! I will be alone no longer. Pushed to share this burden. Of loneliness, never having any other like myself. <laughs> right. What about what about the portrait that we saw? A family portrait of you and another. Who was your previous heir?
I try to shoulder the door open again. Okay. If that is the case, um, here's what we're gonna do. You currently have Kanipo's attention. You are out of combat. Rashtok, the Dronus are currently stable, but they are badly wounded. Wounded three. Things are looking very bad. Arcelia is covered in blood. Her own wounds. Also bad. The three. Yara, you have also taken a wound. Things are looking bleak. Currently out of the turn order, Arcelia, Arcelia, you are frantically trying to open the door again. Muscling it open. Please make an athletics check. Okay. Twelve. And the door does not budge. I asked for a decision. I look desperately to Karun. Tears begin streaming down my face. Karun takes a little bottle of the uh, a little empty bottle. It's kind of scoops a couple up. It's gonna save that for later. And I'll walk over to, towards the center of the room. I would like an assurance before I agree to anything that my friends will be fine and not uh, die here. I make no promises. Your well, friends uh, will make so their own choices. They oh. will earn their place. All right. Well, you see the lizard over there? Lying in a heap, kind of bloody. Um, I don't want the lizard to die. So I'm happy to agree to your terms, but I want only to make sure that the lizard, the heel witch, and the big orc lady make sure they are fine. And the hedgehog. Kanipo turns his vision towards the cage. You see this um, hedgehog-like... Not hedgehog size, but probably about the size of a um, gnome-sized hedgehog with a straw hat in a cage, uh, just gripping the bars wide-eyed as Kanipo looks over. That one is my plaything. Well, uh, that's my terms. I want my friends and I want the hedgehog to be completely fine. And then I'll go along with... And you can even make it really painful if you want. You make a diplomacy check. One. Interesting. Give themselves for their friend. 
Maybe elves are just a little bit better than you thought. No, they are not. Okay, all right, that's fine. I have known elves much longer than you have been alive. And Kanipo gets closer, and they're very imposing standing at about eight feet or so tall. They're very lithe and gaunt, but they're wiry muscle. And they s stand over you, looking down. Arcelia, are you still facing the door? No. As Karun has left my side, I've turned towards them. I look to Yara. And there's something heavy and meaningful about my gaze. It's deliberate, as if I'm trying to say something. And I will move behind Karun. I'll do it so slowly, so if Karun is continuing to talk, they can finish what they want to say. No, it's just... just looking at the gross guy in front of me. I look I... towards Karun and towards Arcelia, and a blue energy forms in my hand, my eyes locking with Arcelia, waiting for some sort of emotion from her. I'm crying. You can see the tears running down my face. I've... I've heard um, the orc ladies walking up behind me, and I'm just going to lean back a little bit and to the side, I'll just say, do it. <laughs> I there was a one frantic of my... on the door, and the door opens, and beyond the door, you see the look-see man. The looksy man stares into the room, a bit bewildered, as they uh, approach the stairs, and yell, Master Kanipo! Master Kanipo! I am so sorry to intrude! There they are! There they are! I'm so sorry! I lost sight of them! There was smoke! There was confusion! Please, please forgive me! I, 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 I don't, I, I... Stop your sniveling! Yes, yes, of course! I, I did not mean to let them through! I, I, if you would please, uh, forgive my impertinence! Uh, I, I see that some of them have already been dealt with. Uh, may I implore you? They tried to violate my machine. If you would see fit, please let me use them. Yes. Yeah, you see an air. What? That away. And any point specifically to a Rosh talk and a Dronus. Those two. We can harvest their traits. Ah 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 ah. We have already had had the conversation about the lizard, right? You are of no concern to me. You are another scientist. And um, Kinipo, over here, my darling. I'm ready. My body is ready. Say your peace, look see. Hi. 
Let me take them. And you can make a decision on what to do with them in the... The hate room. Keep them prisoner for now. I have not had anyone to experiment on in a very long time! Please, Master Kanipo! Stop your sniveling! Yes, yes. Very well. Take them to the hate room. We will decide couldn't do it. on their fate. He couldn't do it last time. You think he's gonna do it this time? Trust in my ability, sir. Uh, you gonna trust master. them? That's the best scientist you can find? The pervert? What? What do you... Now, I'm... look, I may be a, an elf or whatever, but I promise you this. I know so many more scientific minds than <laughs> the pervert. Ones you can trust. Take them to the hate room. <laughs> I will make a decision. Yes, Master Kenipo. Come with me now. I look at Yara. I I nod, and I will um begin working on scooping up. A Dronus, if I can. It would most Awkward. likely be a drag. Mm -hmm. Awkwardly, I'll put a rosh talk on my shoulder. I don't think we have a choice here. Nor do I. All right. To this hate room then, yes? As long as we're together. Go on, move! Ow, stop it. Let us I go. begin to move, holding a rush tuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm just walking behind. I'm pulling a drone as carefully as I can. Very well. You begin to move south past the machine. With the Dronus and Arashtok in tow. The look -see man following behind. Yes! Through the door to the south there! How injured does the look -see man look? Oh, you can make a medicine check or a perception check. Hmm. 17. Uh, took a few hits. Looking a little bloody, I guess. But nothing looks severe. Goopy. I'll keep moving. Very well. Against my better judgment. Can I at all get some sort of a read on the looks he man? Does he seem sincere? Um, I suppose this would be a perception check. Twenty. Yeah, I think you can hear, like, as soon as you pass this machine. Here. I don't care they touch my machine. Oh. Oh. You know, just kind of grumbling about it. Uh, clearly obsessed, clearly mad. You open the door to the south, and you can see this cage. As you get closer. The uh, looksy man um, pulls out a key, and the, um, the bars 
will uh, open up and motions inside. Come on, get in! All of us? Yes! I look over to Kanipo. Do you want me in there? Kanipo's not with you. Oh. Where'd Kanipo go? Kanipo stayed in the room. Hmm. I will, um, tap very slightly on my medical supplies that I have on my waist, wrapping my fingers around it slightly, and I will look towards Karun and towards Arcelia, and I will walk into the cell. Pulling a drone is in tow. I'll walk in as well, carrying a rush talk, and I'll gently place them down somewhere. Do you want me to take a look at that machine of yours? Bet I could fix it. It's working fine! Get inside! Well, look, according to you, but I noticed a few problems with it. I'd be happy to take a look. Won't even have to touch it, just tell you what's wrong. Deception or diplomacy. However you're trying to play this. Oh, oh no. <laughs> All right. That's enough chatter. Go. And you can start right, to see. Going to the box. You can That's start fine. to see. Going to the box. <laughs> you start to see some fire begin to bloom on the it's edge fine, of two fine. fingertips. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll go into the box. <laughs> Approaches and closes the door. <laughs> Sorry, I called you a pervert. <laughs> Does he appear to, to be staying in the room? He begins to move away, back towards the northern door. I will wait for him to walk through, and then I will very quickly rush on over towards Adronis, and I will begin to attempt to treat wounds using my assurance. He, Kanipa, um, looks, he walks through the northern door, leaves the door open, by the way. And, uh, we'll head away. This will take ten moments, uh, but Atronus, if I am able to make it through that period of time, should receive nine points of healing. Over the next ten minutes, Yara frantically begins to treat Adronis. Adronis, you start to come too. Right. Jonas, darling, come on, please. Oh, God, please. Oh, God. What the hell? My okay, dream. All right, all right. I need you. Just make sure he's. Make oh, sure he's not concussed oh, or anything. I look down and, and, I, and, I, and I, I still see fragments of shadow and. No, 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 no. Shh, 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 shh. Be quiet. Quiet. Exactly. They can't know that My I'm dead. waking you all up. They can't, they, you need to pretend you're asleep. Please. Pretend you're oh. asleep. And I will begin to work on a rush talk as well. What's going on? No, yeah, I lay back and I close my eyes. And uh, I'm not sure how much time we have, but if, if it does go through, I'm um, using my assurance and this would work for five points of healing for Arashtak. Do you get to use the assurance uh, twice? Yes, it is um, for any role with medicine. There is no limitation. Okay. And... The way that that works, does it, is it a normal sort of treat wounds? Yes, so all, the for battle... For all other uh, roles, mm -hmm. I guess? Yes, so there are different levels of it. There's trained, expert, master, and legendary. I'm going with the trained for pretty much all of my roles at the moment mm -hmm. because assurance will pretty much allow that entirely. Uh, so it is a guaranteed heal. Um, I cannot, however, uh, use battle medicine on pretty much anyone again today. But we are not in combat, so treat wounds is applicable. Okay. <sighs> Over the next ten minutes, our Ashtak is tended to. And this is for five healing. Hmm. <sighs> Ashtak. <sighs> I'm 
one looking wildly at the others. Alright, stop. Pretend to be asleep. Pretend to be asleep. Alright. Alright. All right. Come here. Celia, do you notice? Do you notice anything? Do you hear anything? Let's have a look. I get up from where I've been leaning. I am very badly hurt. I'll look over the bars of this cage. Do I notice anything unusual about this cage? Yes. You don't have to make a roll to do that. Um, there is definitely something unusual. You can, um, make a roll to determine some things, though. Go ahead and make a perception or survival check. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll keep that to 12. Um, yeah, I mean, there's definitely something special about this cage. You also can remember that this was supposedly where Kanipo was held. Hmm. I wonder if the elves created this specifically for him, or if it predated. It is enchanted. Do you not know the details? As an elf, would I have any idea? Uh, so this would be a really hard check, but you can definitely try and do it. Um, I think this would come down to Arcana. Yeah, super tough. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, Eighteen is oh. not even close. Nah. Looks great, though. All right, Arsenia. Hmm. Uh, Karun, you were you were both pretty certain we probably can't do anything with that lock, with that that door. Then. All right. Good strong elven magic. <sighs> All right, Arsenia, come to me. All right. Go ahead and apply some salves and whatnot. Okay. Yes. And again, if I have the time, I will be treating Arcelia's wounds with my assurance at the trained level for 10 points of healing after 10 minutes. Okay. Um, unfortunately, you're not going to have enough time. That is um, all right. So... Uh, probably by now. You would hear in the distance as you're starting to tend to Arcelia's wounds. Oh, thank you, Master Kanipo. Uh, I'm so happy. I, it's been so long. Uh, this is wonderful news. I would have lowered my hands and backed away from Arcelia. Slowly start backing away from Arcelia. Walking into the room, again you see the Luxy Man. Begin to approach. Ah! Sorry for the wait, but I'll be needing that one. And you. He points to you, Yara. Hmm. 
<clears throat> and, and why exactly is that? Because Master Kanipo is going to see if you're worthy enough to be his heir. We must I see. transfer the traits. You understand? Right. Looking around, do I notice Kinipo anywhere? No. <laughs> My eyes are darting frantically between Arcelia and Karun. I lower my voice. I don't know what to do here, Yara. We can try to take him. But I don't know about our chances. He's not up on the wall. Shit. Question. Where is Luxie Man? Um, just past the door, maybe 10 feet away. Can we open uh, the door so we can see him? Uh, yes, but assume the door is closed. Yeah. Oops. Oh, he's that close. Okay. 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 Never mind. If With Yara the... was standing next to me, I would have said something, but never mind. With the crafting check that they did earlier about the machine, would I know whether it's more effective if the person inside of it is dead or alive? Oh, um, yeah. Uh, the. Um, it, it requires three people, uh, one in mm. each pod, one outside, yes. and they would have to be alive, yes. All right. You would assume that's why the looksy man pleaded. Hmm. All right. I will bend down and pick up a dronus. him over my shoulder. Okay, and you try to walk out of the cell with Adronis? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, are you trying to... I guess what I'm asking you for, do you feel like you need a deception check here? Or a stealth? Um, I'm trying to make it look like I'm picking up Adronis because he's unconscious, right? And Yara's being beckoned to come out. I'm not quite sure. Maybe deception? I'll leave that up to you. Hmm. If you're trying to basically... Get Adronis out to trick the Luxy man. Well, he asked for Adronis, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. So and you it can. It was clear I could not carry him. That's right. true. Um, fair enough. Let me see. We do need a roll here because they are most likely a little suspicious for obvious reasons. Um, I, I, I would say... take a performance. Performance, or deception, or stealth. Could I do diplomacy and say... I don't think so. so. Damn, okay. I don't okay. think so, not in this case, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Um, performance, here we go. Ugh, I will re-roll that. How do I use it here? Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's neat. You, you, you stay in there. You. What? Points to you, Yara. You can drag him. Fair enough. I'll what? come out too to make sure that the machine works this time, if you'd like. No! 
As I said, all right, those two. All right, all right. All right, all right. He's still breathing, isn't he? Well. Ellie. And I will attempt to, uh, go close to Adronis, grabbing him by his shoulders with my arms through his, uh, like under his arms. He is still breathing, isn't he? Let me check. Looksy they were man. leaning close. <gasps> Looksy man gets a little closer. I can't tell. No. I I can't tell. Adronis! Adronis, no! And I'm slapping him in the face slightly. Make a deception Adronis. check. Good luck. God. Uh, Ooh, I don't know on this one, but good luck. I have a hero point, but I don't know, man. You gotta decide to use it right now before I make the roll. <gasps> I'm just biting my tongue really hard because I'm like, she slapped the shit out of me. I'm hurting. <laughs> God. I feel like if I re roll it, it's gonna get worse. So, no, I'm keeping the 18. Okay. Yes! Yes, he's breathing! I see him! Uh, are you sure? <laughs> I can hold my breath any longer. Oh, thank God. All right. All right. And I will begin to try and drag him. This is very difficult, though. And that is, the, that is telling the truth. Very well. And take your time. Swordsmaster, uh, can you hear me? <laughs> uh, would you rather die than do all this? <laughs> I could make it quick. I'm haven't learned how to communicate back because it wasn't a part of uh, my tribe. But I can mentally send waves back. Um, and I'm saying protect Yara and, or protect the others. Whatever needs to be done, just do it. And if it involves me... Oh no, did we lose Frank? <laughs> oh no! I didn't quite catch that. <laughs> that yes, sir. I think he DC. Are you kidding me? What the hell? No. Wait, I DC'd? Oh, you're back. Oh. You're back. Oh. You want? Okay. Would you rather? Rewind. I. <laughs> I said I never really learned how to communicate back because my tribe didn't really use this way. But. I send messages mentally. Uh, it's kind of like waves, but it'll make out partial words. Protect. Protect Yara. She. We need her, and um, I can, I can, I can try. No, the others will die. Do what you will, but if you send my body back to Varanoi Oasis, my sister, Alia, my mother would like to see me again. Uh, you. If anything happens, if you... You fucked them up for me. Do not let anything happen. To, and, then, and then the... And then it cuts, as I lose concentration. I will take... I will take my dagger and drive it into the Swordmaster's throat. Quickly. To cut blood flow to the brain, the brain stem, 
No! And I will take my crossbow and aim that at my head. And I will say, I will deny your master any satisfaction of killing elves today if you do not agree to let my friends go, along with the hedgehog. What have you done? Oh! Another lost experiment. <laughs> and as my dying breath, I will just hold on to Yara's dress and clinch it and um, just kind of stare back at her and, and the light will fade from my eyes and I'll look towards Karun and uh, die with my eyes open, staring at her going to just squeeze Edronus's hand. It's all right. <sighs> Door Tell closes. Your master, let them go along with the hedgehog. Door closes. <sighs> Looksy man uh, throws up his hands. Now what? And, uh, go ahead and make an intimidation check. Uh, you do have a circumstance bonus on this. That's going to just re-roll that one. Okay. Oh. Makes it, breaks it. I rolled a 13. He's got a friggin' plus 14. Or no, wait. Uh, sorry. No, he does beat that. Um, just, oh no, he beats 25? Yeah, I get a 27. Um, Along with the circumstance bonus? Oh, good point. I would have given you a plus two. Makes it, breaks it. Yes. Um... Fine. <sighs> Starts to like goose step away, you know, like a petulant child. As a dronus fades away. I would be falling to my knees and trying very hard to apply pressure, but I know it is not. There is no point. I will kneel down and close Adronis's eyes. Dara. I look over at her, but I cannot speak. I gently try to pull you into a hug. Tightly. I'd like to hand uh, a little vial to uh, these two and just say when Lizard wakes up, will you give uh, give the Lizard this? Just I think I am awake. I was supposed to stay quiet. Oh, good. Good morning, sleepyhead. <laughs> That's for you. Don't drink that. I take it and continue to pretend to be unconscious. There's no right decision to make here. Give a small nod to Karun.
I will begin to very carefully and gently go through Adronus's pockets. I gather whatever belongings I can keep on my person or hand off to Arcelia, but I cannot look at Karun right now. Got a little bit of uh, Dronus' blood on my dagger, just gonna put that in a little vial too. Put that somewhere. What's the plan? We've bought a few minutes. Uh, well, you three are going to escape. And uh, I'm going to stay here for a little while. I wish the doctor had better prepared us for something like this. <sighs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. We weren't ready. We had no way of knowing we would be here. Literally none. Well, I'm sure the doctor will send someone to help you. So. No sad faces, just, you know, chin up. Suppose we shall see. I'm sorry that you had to do that, Karun, and that I did not have the string. It's all right. Just wish I'd learned his name. I reach over to Arashtok and gently pat him. Will you be okay to run or fight if it's necessary? I don't think I can fight, but I can run. Is that what we're doing? Do we flee after this? Perhaps. I, I do not know. It depends on what it is that they come back with. But I know that Karun's room is on fire, whether or not it was put out. I have no idea, but they have other distractions currently. We may have covered that while we were in here. I do not know. I do not know. Should I pretend no longer? I don't think there's a point. <laughs> and I sit up. How wide are the bars here? Uh, the individual bars or the space between them? Between. Oh, uh, maybe four. Six inches. Worst case, I can escape. I'd rather not leave all of you. I will hand the key out towards Rashtak. Do you think you have the best chance of escaping with this, if necessary? You can fit into places that I cannot. Then yes, I suppose I do. And I, I give take you the, the key. key. Hmm? Put it, it in makes my the most sense. bag of holding, so I do not need to touch it. There is a necklace on Adronis that I will delicately take off of him. And I will reach over towards Arcelia and put it around her neck. I clasp it tightly. <sighs> hmm. 
We should not waste his life. No. We should do whatever it takes to get out. Yes. Agreed. I will. Go, go, go. I'll stand up as straight as I can, bleeding and bruised. And I'll try to rattle the cage. The cage feels very sturdy. I begin to slam whatever, I, my shield, up against it to make noise. Mm. Has your master made a decision yet? You hear uh, some yelling in the distance. Just wait your turn. Did he use a key to open this gate? It appeared so, yes. yes. I will say, however, that the bars are not all sort of straight. Some of them are kind of like bent out of true. So there's a few places where it might be a little bit bigger than six inches, but. What kind of metal is it? Is it obvious? Uh, good question. Um. It appears to be iron. Uh, it would look very similar to cold iron. Mm. Do it. The walls, ceiling, and floor are all blackened. You can tell that there was some kind of fire or something here. And there are crude drawings scratched into the wood. Um, as you look around, there's, um, well, there are crude drawings of elves dying in all manner of horrifying ways. This was his cage. Hmm. And he got out somehow. Likely freed. I wonder. I'd like to. I might be able to freeze a bar. Maybe it will weaken it. I can try to break it. I attempt to freeze the lock with. Well, a ray of frost right up front next to it. Okay. I need you to make a... Hmm. Let's see here. Uh... Okay. Go for it. Make a roll. Is it gonna go through? I'm about to find out. There it goes. Twenty. Okay. That does hit uh the bars. They... I was aiming for the lock specifically, the keyhole. Okay. It begins to spread out and strike the lock. <laughs> and, um... Mm, uh, no, that's the wrong track. Um, 
as you do this, uh, there is a um, moment where you see some things flicker about uh, the the caricatures, these shadowy caricatures around you. You think maybe you see some magic sort of flare to life around these caricatures, um, and you you cast your spell as you do. For four cold damage. Six cold damage. Sorry, Six. that's a se- the accidental roll. No. You see the lock begin to sort of like freeze over. Now! I slam break myself it. into the gauge door, trying to break it open with force. Okay, athletics check. 20. Okay, you do. Roll me a d4. Three. Okay. You uh, slam into it hard. This stuff is <gasps> sturdy. Um, and um, if you've ever tried to shoulder a door open, it's way harder than you think it is. Um, and uh, you you feel your your shoulder sort of strain under the pressure of the bars. Um trying to overcome their hardiness. You do not. However, uh, you do see the ice sort of like crack a little bit. There may be a tiny bit of give. Quickly! I do it again? I... Instead this time... Instead of my shoulder this time, I'll try to kick it. Okay. Throwing my whole body weight into it. I need an unarmed attack roll. Oh, okay. Um, unarmed attack. Is that just a strength check? Uh, Strength with proficiency. I believe. I thought everybody gets an unarmed attack button uh, by default. Mm, I don't have one. Okay, that's gone for some reason. Uh, improvised weapon should work. All that. Okay. Okay. Um, hold on. That's not calculating correctly. Oh, yeah, that just gave you a plus yeah, one. one. <laughs> I rolled a 14. My strength is three, so that would be 17. Plus no, 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 proficiency. No. Proficiency uh, is... Is that correct? You get it should be. All three of those on the attack roll? Or is that for damage? I think proficiency just happens on the damage. I do believe it's to hit as well. Well, I have an actual unarmed fist attack. Um, we can see how that actually calculates if needed. Oh, it yeah. is plus proficiency plus strength. Okay. So, yeah. uh... Because I have a plus five on the so attack. So you rolled a unarmed. 14 plus you mm-hmm. rolled... You get a three from your strength. And then what's your mm-hmm. proficiency? Probably... It's trained, right? So you get a, trained. what, a plus three? Four. I think it's a four now. Four. Okay. Yes, it is four. Uh, roll me another d4. One. Hang on. Need to double check something. drives me crazy is long explanations when I just want a really simple equation. (laughs) I swear to God, the only thing I want in every single rule book is to skip the fucking explanation and just give me an equation. Just tell me exactly what the equation is for things. I'm good. I don't need 10 paragraphs to explain to me how to do something. I don't need it. It makes me want to die. Um... 
Okay, so hardness hit points, broken threshold. Trying to read this on stream. Greatest thing ever. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> let's see. Hardness and hit points. Oh, just tell me what the fucking equation is. I swear to God. If something has a hardness, that's not the HP. That is the damage that's minus, right? Yeah. Because, okay. like, the way that shields work, there's a broken threshold, there's hit points. Mm. So, I see. From I my understanding... Is my understanding. Oh, sorry. Yeah, from my understanding, you have to do more than that damage to even dent it, and it doesn't seem like anything's being done here. It doesn't seem like anything's being done here. Okay. Okay, whenever a shield takes damage, the amount of damage it takes is reduced by the yeah. hardness amount. Yeah. It's yep. the resistance, yeah. It's the damage resistance. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Those are the those are the words that I needed, not the ten paragraphs of fluff. It drives me crazy <laughs> when I write my uh, rules. I'm gonna have an equation just right at the top. It's just gonna say this, <laughs> this, this, this minus this equals this. There you go. That's what you do. Okay. Um, it does not seem like you are making a dent in this thing. Okay. I'm trying. No, it's, it's too strong. It's made to hold. What do we do then? What is the plan? Do we go along with it? Do we run? Do we fight him? Do we do a mix? Our options are limited. I'm making a deal with him where uh, I give myself up for you. I know, but if the deal doesn't work... Then you need to run. That key will save more than just us. It is beyond our group. Indeed. Given the choice, he would much rather kill an elf than anyone else. Yes. He still may wish to impart traits. And I do not believe you survive if you are the one having them taken from. Karun, your understanding of the machine would say different. Mm -hmm. uh, it appears that everyone has to be alive for the machine to work. Really? That's what? why he is so frustrated that I have killed the swordsman. It also has the chance to hurt the people inside the pods. It also hardly ever works because the pervert has no idea how to build a machine. So, uh, it is very likely to injure anyone who it's trying to impart things to. And from... I will be ready to run, then. We will have to do something, though, if he is not distracted. We will be the distraction, if necessary. I'll be ready. I have a mechanical question. Are there things like prepared actions that I may react with a spell as a result if I am ready for it? So, actions that you can do um, would fall under the actions handout. Right. So, you can... Ready, yes. Mm. Prepare a single free a single or free action as a reaction with a trigger. Yep. So. 
I would like to prepare pest form with a beetle and the trigger being well if the deal does not work I become a pest form and I will flee Okay. Very well. You hear a growl in the distance. What has happened? <laughs> Shortly thereafter, Kanipo himself and the Luxie Man make their way into the hate room. I told you to watch the elf. Yes, Master Kanipo, I, I, I failed you. I understand. I. He is going to keep on failing you. He is a terrible worker. Why do you keep him around? I ask myself that question often these days. I, I'm sure you do. I think your proposal is unfortunately going to be rejected. Elf. But wait, what better way to punish an elf then perhaps have him as one of your, your workers. Obviously, this looksy fellow is inept and unable to do many things, but our friend Karun here is fantastic, very well learned, very scientifically inclined. Oh. And also an elf. Right, and the best way to take revenge is not by murdering them. For what can you do to them if if they die, but rather have them work for you and benefit you? I can fix the machine. Yeah, I mean, we could talk about the titles or whatever, sure. Right. She can be useful, is my point. Arcelia, make a diplomacy or deception check here. You mean, you mean Yara? I'm sorry. Yara, sorry. <gasps> They're both the same. 16. <sighs> what was the base roll? A 9. I will. Mm. I will reroll it. Very well. Nineteen. It is obvious that he has failed you, is it not? Can I help here? I haven't heard any help. Okay, I will say... She survived all of the trials thus far against your captain. And I've made friends with the waitstaff outside. One of you can try and help. It can be either Arcelia or... It will be me. It will be Arcelia. <laughs> it will be me. Okay. It'll be a <laughs> diplomacy check then. He's, uh, bosses, bosses, bosses! Nethys, I call upon you. 
I invoke your name. 22. Okay. An interesting point. Well, what, Master? What do you mean? We've destroyed all of your other potential heirs. Clearly, we have proven ourselves thus far. He couldn't even keep us out of your room. Hmm. Or keep one of us from killing the other. They tricked me! They... Silence! Ooh. I have a better idea. Look, see. Yes, Master. You will enter the pod with the elf. What do you mean? If the elf is more capable than you, then perhaps it's time that you might be removed. You won't regret it. But who will... What? What are... I told you I would. What are you... What do you mean? You're Master, mine. don't do this, please! With a snap of their fingers, shadows begin to crawl up the looksy man and begin to pull his arms apart. What? Master, no! What are you doing? Come, Lupsy. It's time you became one of your own experiments. No! You will follow. He points to you, Karun. And they go free, right? And the hedgehog. No. Maybe hold off on the hedgehog. I ah. think not. Not the hedgehog? Or your friend. Well, then what is the point of any of this? The point is that you live for now. All right. They are going to go free eventually. If they are capable. Out of curiosity, how badly hurt does Kanipa look from our uh, attacks before? Medicine check. 22. So... You definitely saw Kanipo take some hits. They uh, were definitely injured. Um, they don't look nearly as injured as any of you. Fair enough. But they were definitely injured. Uh, the looksy man is being dragged away by shadows, pulling at his own shadows. He's kind of scrabbling at the ground. <gasps> As he's Don't being fight it. brought into the room to the north. And Kanipo points to the uh, to the um, cage. Mm. And you see the uh, key flow along the shadows from the look man and head towards the cage. You come with All right, me. though. I'm coming, I'm coming. You... Ugh. And you. He points towards you, Yara. Or they point towards you, I'm sorry. I am tapping on my flute and looking at Arcidia. 
and I walk through. Cage is closed behind you. As you all begin to head into the room with the amber pods, you see the looksy man panicking. Please, master, no! Who will work the machine? This. Please, this is madness, master! This is. This is my machine! I. It won't. There's no way it can work! Silence! <laughs> master, can I call you master? Um, the little pervert has no idea what he's talking about, and I can show you how to use it if you'd like. He. They, they eye you and Yara up and down. Um. Trying to think what they want more. And it's, a, it's a difficult choice. Um. I'm gonna roll for it. I'm gonna roll for it. Because it is a legit, <laughs> really tough choice. Uh, one, two, or three is Yara. Uh, four, five, or six is Karun. Uh, he points towards you, Yara, and says, They will be capable enough to operate this machine, I think. Climb into the pod. Uh, 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 who is going to be capable of uh, me they, or they that point, one? They point towards you, Yara. Oh, and I know nothing of this sort of a machine. Genuinely speaking, I never once claimed I was some sort of. You uh, will learn. It's pretty easy. I can show you. It's not that complex a mechanism, pervert. You see, you see the shadows begin to uh, place the looksy man inside the amber pod, and as this happens, the pods are sort of like, um, how shall we describe this? Uh, mm -mm. The pods are sort of like uh, passing through a membrane. It's almost like a bubble, but a little bit thicker, you know? Um, and you see the looksy man like sort of get thrown into the pod. And you can just hear this kind of, you know, uh, lowered volume from the looksy man. I'm going to bring Yara over to the controls really quickly. Just by the pod. And um, just come over here. I'll show you how to do it. And as I okay. am pointing at the controls, I'm going to lean down by the window at the, at the little pervert and just mouth, I told you I would do it. You're mine now. You see the looksy man just looking wide-eyed and angry and freaking out inside the pod. Told you. And I show Yara how to use the machine. Okay, um, so... Uh, you begin to instruct Yara how to use this machine. Um... Which will be... An occultism or a nature check, Yara. Um, uh, the way that uh, Karun begins to describe it. So, does my oh, roll does my roll at all here? Matter? I was going. I I didn't mean for you to roll right then. Oh, but oh. let's use this play. roll. Yeah. We're gonna use this roll. Um, as Karun is describing this to you, it's. 
going way over your head. I genuinely have no idea. <laughs> Look, it's not that hard. You just C do. Can you poo? <laughs> I genuinely. This is out of my skill set. I am a healer. I am a, a a magic user. Um. Kanipo begins to get closer to you, starting to loom over you, eight feet tall above you. And says, We only learn through practice. Ah. Well. I was wondering if perhaps the skill set that Luxi Man would be more suited to you so that I could watch our elven friend do this and perhaps even take over for her. Make a diplomacy Chance. check. <laughs> 18, that's not going to work. <sighs> Kanipo looks at you, Karun. You begin mm. to feel shadows crawling up your legs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Master, please. Uh, I'm into perfectly... I will happily go into the pod now. Don't do the shadow thing. And I go uh, over into the pod. Don't forget about the whole thing. <laughs> Into the pod, Karun goes. Kanipo looms over you, Yara. Luxi Man is still like begging, just kind of muffled in this in this amber pod. Kanipo leans over you, Yara. Just my fingers are curled over the flute, but I know now is not the time. It will not work. And I attempt to, to use the machine. And that's a good place for us to take our break. If you haven't seen it yet, folks, Table Story's got a merch store. Head on over to merch.tablestory.tv. Go get some gear. It helps out the channel. And if you want to hear Green Room After Sessions, we've got a membership. Where we will post recordings and thoughts from the chat. We'll see you soon. Back in just a few minutes. Do it. All right. I will press a hand to my chest, and a golden light will go ahead and emanate into my skin as I cast guidance on myself give myself plus one on whatever roll I am about to fucking roll. It will be and an I occultism will... or a nature check. I am so sorry, Nicotine. Whoa! <laughs> and wow. This is a 24 to the roll. Let's see what happens. As you begin to work the levers of the machine, turning knobs and dials and things, you start to get into a groove here, Yara. All right. And the one. let's see here. That was almost a critical success. You missed it by one. What? Um, yep. Are there no circumstance bonuses no. from uh, an explanation? Okay. <laughs> that would have been My from the first occultism. Um, let's see. I just need to make sure that I'm doing this right. Uh... Okay. Roll a d4. I don't like when you say that. Four is good. Four. Really? 
Ooh. Karun, you get to choose the trait that you acquire. Instead Not of it, perfect. Instead, from the looksy man, instead mm. of it being determined randomly. You are welcome, Nicotina. Here are the Take traits. Back. <laughs> here are the traits that are available. Mm hmm. Uh, fetchling, humanoid, shadow, and. I need to double check this. Uh, everything else you have already, so you wouldn't be able to do those. Yep. So, fetchling, humanoid, or shadow? Choose one. Oh no. A humanoid you have already, so it would either be fetchling or shadow, actually. Sorry. Fetchling or shadow. Mm -hmm. Uh I think I'm I think I'm gonna go with the uh, with shadow. Okay. Um what do you think this feels like? And what do you think we see? Um, it's definitely very cold. You can probably see little bits of icicles on the bottoms of the, uh, collecting on the bottom of the ember membrane. You can definitely hear just some very, some, some very muffled. <laughs> and, um, you begin to see just black, inky black void begin to travel slowly up my legs up my torso and I look over to Yara with just this immense look of pain on my face as the, the finally the shadows engulf my entire body this sort of explosion of shadow uh, fills the pod and you can see the looksy man uh, writhing in pain as you can see their shadows twisting about. As this is all happening, Yara, Kanipo is just like right over your shoulder. And. I... Yes, you own their fate. Your hands, Yara. I tense up when he says my you. name. Is it not? Indeed. Good. You manipulate their lives. They are yours to control. How does it feel? I take a moment and I calculate. Powerful. I will take a deception, a... or a performance check. 19. You see Karun sort of laying, uh, you know, a bit still in the pod. You see the looksy man laying still in the pod. There is probably a shift in the way you perceive either of them. The looksy man always seemed to be almost camouflaged by the shadow around in the darkness. They do not. They just seem like a person. But when you look at Karun, you see something different. That shadow that was around 
her before is... Maybe a little bit thicker. It's hard to tell in the pod, but something's different. I swallow hard. Is that all then? No. No. Now I think the real test. your friend to live. I do. Then the choice is yours. They are an elf. I cannot abide. That is something that I am able to do with this contraption. As I understand such things, swallow hard again. the other choice. So, you say that this machine is able to pull an ancestry from someone. What will happen to both of them? Is it something of a swap? From what Luxy has told me, yes. And to clarify, Luxy isn't human, right? He is a fetch a fetchling, yes. Right. Are you sure that this could get rid of a very valuable servant? I will do it, but I am I don't know if I can get lucky twice. Servants, Yara. You will learn this over time. I will learn this, you say. to try and utilize 
Mishy. Very well. Do you try to do what Kanipo says? Faye doesn't want to. <laughs> Neither does Yara, but there's no choice. Just clarification. Um, Wack doesn't want this either, but Kanipo does. I know. Oh. I'll say under my breath. I am sorry, Karun. And I will attempt to make it do exactly what it is that Kanipo has said. Okay. Uh, question, question for the gods out there. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> question. Mm-hmm. Uh, can gonna... Karun see through this membrane to see Yara going back to the controls? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you right. can definitely see that. Well, then as soon as Karun sees Yara going back to the to the controls, mm-hmm. uh, just gonna go ahead and slurp down one of these guys. Oh, okay. You're gonna drink a lesser bestial mutagen while in one of the pods. This is going to be That's fun. Right. Okay. Uh, also, uh, one of these to make it go down a little better. Okay. Karun starts drinking potions in these strange pods. But first... Karun, I'm going to send you a little DM. Sorry, chat. Give me one second. So excited. It's a good thing. Uh, I don't know if it applies right now, but it's pretty good. Okay, um, Karun starts drinking potions. Uh, I think the other two are kind of too busy to notice what's going on. So, you begin to drink these potions. What do you do, Karun? Um, my body begins, um, to, as it, as, as easily as anyone could see it, which is to say not, given that it's concealed in shadows, my body begins to grow in an unfamiliar, rippling way. My jaws become elongated, and my hands become longer and deadlier. I look across the pod to the Luxi man, withered and small. And as Yara goes to use the controls, as soon as I feel the machine begin to whir to life, I begin scratching and digging through the machine towards the Luxi man. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna need a roll. Let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna say this is probably some kind of an attack roll. Make an attack roll with your claws or something. And I would notice this struggling, yes? We're going to have you make a check in a second, because this is the rune, I'm guessing, kind of freaking out, so nothing else happens. Um, okay, a 21. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is pretty cool. Um... Mm-mm-mm. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Uh, for six damage. Um. Okay, Karun. Mm, I gotta, mm, Roll me an extra d4. Okay. 
Okay. You don't seem to make your way through the machine, but you do think you've started to damage the pod. Perfect. Yara, you notice this. I don't think you have to make a roll for this. This is now glaringly obvious what's happening. Have I, at this point in time, started the entire procedure or... I mean, I would imagine I'm trying to figure this out, right? Trying to figure out what? How to do how it? To, yeah, how to do it. You think you know how to do it. It's just a matter of doing it at the right time. It's like a timing thing. It's kind of like chemistry, you know, where it's like, oh, it has to get to be this temperature and you have to, you know, it's a bit like that where it, where it, where there's multiple factors that are involved. Right. So this would have started already then? Um, that's up to you. I, I think, Kroon uh, I think this is going started on. started drinking the potions unless the process was already underway. Mm-hmm. All right. I, I don't want Karun to die by the misuse of this machine, so I will continue. Okay. Make an occultism or a nature check. Okay. I'm gonna cry from the stress. Oh back. shit. Okay. Um, Yara. Uh, that was a twenty, by the way. For anybody listening to the podcast. Um. Okay. Um. Process begins. Karun, you start uh, feeling really fucking strange as you begin to... um, You feel yourself begin to change. You look... You're like looking as you're trying to break free from this and you can see your skin begin to change. You feel yourself sort of... uh, like shrinking in size and you start to see yourself... Uh, your 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 joints begin to like pop and like like you can feel your your uh, bones breaking and such as you begin to move it's similar to like when you take a mutagen you know and you start to physically change it's kind of a bit like that sensation except something has gone wrong as the machine is beginning to uh activate you can you start to see things flashing <laughs> Like, magic begins to move and swirl around. Yara, something is going wrong. You hear Kanipo behind you. What is happening? You are doing something wrong. I am following the instructions to a T. <laughs> I... I look at Karun. I'm trying to figure out what it is I am doing incorrectly. Okay, make... No, I'm going to say this is still the same occultism role. Uh, Yara, you think that the machine is going to break after you do this. It seems like it's working, but the machine is going to break. Kanipo, the machine will break if we continue this. What? What have There's you done? I can do. It is not. It is not me. Kanipo begins to. Kanipo begins to look at uh, Karun, and uh, there is like a weird moment there. Yara, make a perception check. Ooh. That one, yeah. Okay. Um, you don't notice uh something about Kanipo, um, but um. Karun, you feel yourself changing. It's painful. It is, uh, you don't feel right. Something is going wrong here. You felt similar when the machine was activated before, but you're noticing physical changes now, um, as you're trying to, to damage this machine. Um, you think it will be damaged from what you can tell. You've definitely done something to it. There's magic or some kind of 
power source that seems to be leaking out, and you see, um, uh, like, sort of particle-like effects sort of moving about this machine now. Um, and as you do, make a reflex save for me, Karun. Whoa! Okay, uh, so as this is happening, a tear opens up in the amber of the pods. A small smirk spreads across, across my lips. Perun, you fall through this tear in the amber pod fall onto the ground just underneath. You see maybe there's like a foot of space between you and the pod above you. There's particles and magic that seems to be leaking out. Karun, you do look a little different. It doesn't seem like the changes took hold completely, but something happened. Is it good or? Well, you look a little smaller and a little less self-like. Not like a pervert, though, right? Oh, well, no. <laughs> oh, no. Perhaps part fetchling. <laughs> uh, I would like to... I think um, now, Karun, you would be classified yeah. as a half-elf. Oh, no. <laughs> With a fetchling oh. ancestry. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Half pervert. <laughs> Yara, the machine begins to uh, sort of make this clang, 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 like when a when something goes wrong in a in a piece of machinery, and then it shuts down. What remains of the Luxie Man is not pretty. There is just this heap of organic mess where the look man was and <sighs> steam and smoke is released from the machine no no cell. Arcelia, you and Arashtak have been left in the room. You hear a bunch of yelling and things, some screams and such, as all this is going on. What are you doing? Uh, how long has, how long will this all take, considering? Well, I imagine probably ten minutes. Something like All that. Alright. That's as enough soon time. As that they have left. I will turn to our Rosh talk. We have to do something. Prepare for the worst. <sighs> yes. <sighs> Did you have anything in mind? Aside from me running. I will do everything that I can to secure your exit. Can you look over my wounds? I can try. I will do so. And I'll make a medicine check, pulling out my kit. I peel back the layers of my armor. That is a success. Hey, and what's the healing on that? I believe it was 2d8, yes. Okay, roll for the heal. Ooh, 10 HP, Arcelia. Uh, this is all I can do. Hold that. Uh, You've got a bit of a rougher touch than Yara. Ah, uh, sorry, that is the scales. It's all right. Uh, I've done what I can. This should numb it a bit. I've, uh, been under the ministrations of 
far less kind hands uh, during I the war. <sighs> Where will I go? I, I can get out of here, I think, but I do not know where a gate will be. Anywhere but here. At the very least, you must separate Kanipo from the key. Right. Yes. <sighs> Maybe you'll find another creature somewhere. Make a deal with it. I fear they are all under his realm and rule, but... I will try. <sighs> the door is open. No. If I move... It was no. Yeah, I just left this it open closed. for you. The okay. One, the one to the north is open, yeah. Okay, and so... There, there are I, stairs that go up to the yeah. other room there. I would see those and remember that from before. If the adjoining door is open, then can I see in there? If you can see in there, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Something's going on. That could be very good or very bad. What are you doing? That seems bad. Should we keep trying the door? No. I fear that will not help. Right? Unless I... I pull out the key... And I see if it would work in this lock or not. I know it is for Ayudara. But if it is made by perhaps the same people. Uh, you try to fit the Shade Wither key inside the lock here? Perhaps. I'd say it just to see. Sure. Okay. Arash talk. I need you to make a roll real quick. Uh, make a perception check. I can and will. That's a nine. Mm. <sighs> yes, I'll leave it. Very well. Does not seem to work in the lock. It's completely the wrong size. Fair. Uh, it was worth a shot, and I put it back in the bag of holding. <laughs> I do not think we will be able to break this down. I would like to look at Leiko's mask that I've stored away. Can I tell if it's magic? Mm. Or is it just a mask? I think that would require some kind of spell or something. Um. You can use, I believe, Arcana just to see if it's magic. Okay. Go ahead and make an arcana check. I also have the cantrip detect magic. <laughs> um, 22. You do not think check. it is magical. Okay. Okay. We're just like that hedgehog. Yes. Stuck in a cage. So what is the plan then? I suppose this is as good of a distraction as we can get. Well, true. If I leave before you... I do not expect you to live. It's all right. The price I'm willing to pay. But if they succeed, we may be all right still. How long can you hold that form of yours? Ten minutes. Mm. It is enough to perhaps run out of here, but I do not dare use it too early. I think you should hold it. I don't think it's the right time. I agree. Ah. 
All we can do is wait. I think so. <sighs> At least you are a bit hardier. Mm. I'll take this time to see if I can stitch anything of my own while we wait. Okay. Um, I don't think you're going to have enough time for that. Um, I don't think so either. Uh, you hear more yelling from the north. Uh, some yelling from Yara, some yelling from Karun, and we return to that room. Karun, you are down on the ground below the amber pod. Yara, you are sort of right near Kanipo. You see the machine has broken, and you see that Something has changed with Karun. Um, she definitely looks different. Didn't happen all the way, but something happened. Well, now what? Now you go back to your cage. Uh, while I figure out what to do with you, you have disappointed me. Oh, I thought you, mean... you were better than this. You mean me? Are you talking? <coughs> <coughs> oh, why do I smell like this? The ineptitude of your previous servant does not reflect on me. Respectfully. Their machine was not constructed properly. If it could be torn so easily, is that not right? Whoa! My eye is all better! Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. No, it's, it's awful. Ow. The hole is smaller, though. Does it look better? No. No. All right. Perhaps you are right about their incompetence. Perhaps this is an opportunity. Yes, I must think on this. Come, you will return to your cage. You as well. E Master, do you want me to fix the, uh, you know, the machine? Uh, make a, make a diplomacy or a deception check, um, depending would, on what you want to do here. Would she get a bonus considering I just threw the incompetency of Luxy Man at his face when he was trying to accuse us of being uh, the problem? Potentially. Very good. I'm not going to tell you. I like potential. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> These are rolls. You needed them today. Okay. Do you have like a mop or something? I can sh swab out the other no. one. I'll get it with my hands. Don't worry. Get to work. I got it. Machine. You got it, master. You. Yara. You will return to your cage. Fair enough. Kanipo begins to walk over towards you, Karun. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. He's a lot bigger now. <laughs> and leans down towards you mm -hmm. and will say, Yes. No more tricks, Elf. Well. Or should I call you a half elf? Oh, really? Mm. Does that mean we're cool now, or...? We never will be. Fix the machine if you want to live. I'm on it. Just to make sure 
Mm-hmm. You see shadows begin to f- crawl up on the wall as if there is a harsh taskmaster looking over your shoulder. You see <laughs> the shadow-like image of Kanipo on the wall as Kanipo begins to return to their domicile. Ugh. Yara, do you begin to walk down towards the cage? Yes, I do. That's good. Because shadows seem to be following you as well. As the figure of Kanipo begins to move, you start to see the key moving with you, Yara, uh, along the shadows. It unlocks the door as you approach. Does the door swing in or out? Out. I pause for a moment, looking at them, and I look at the shadow, then back at them. Do you all stay still? Velastoxus shakes his head, but not in a no, more of a, I really don't know what to do. I will walk inside. It's not the right time. How long has it been with all of us uh, using the machine and whatnot and since I last treated Arashtok? Oh, it's only been like 20 minutes. Oh, Oh, but since you last treated me, it's been an hour-ish, just like with... uh... Yeah, I'm not sure when that last time was. Yeah. Yeah. In the cells when we first woke him. Yeah. Oh, when you first woke him? Yeah, it hasn't been that long yet. Can't treat him again. Ah, oh, good. Yes. Um, but <laughs> uh, if you walk back into the cage, the, the shadows close the door, locking it. And you see the key sort of fade into the shadows and disappear. I'll exhaustedly kind of throw myself onto the ground and um, it has been quite some time since I wrapped myself up so I will go ahead and I will treat my own wounds with my assurance for 10 points of healing if I have that time of course Uh, I'm sorry say that one more time um, so I have used my assurance at the trained level, um, and I who? am patch on myself. Okay. Yes. Got and it. of course, as we do this, I'm wrapping up, and we can talk. <sighs> the Dronus is still there, by the way, just on the ground, dead. It's something important to note because. clearly there and there's a lot of bad things that happen when somebody dies and are starting to happen I would most definitely put my bedroll over him to cover him I do not know what to do rest This isn't the first cage that I've been in. You buy your time and try to recover your strength. You fight when you can. We have lost the Dronis. And now we have Karun likely feeling robbed of everything she is. And I know not what to do. 
she is alive. Let us hope that she thinks it is worth it. Yes. Should. Should we take his body? I and motion to my bag of holding. I am not well learned enough of a healer with aspects of um, magical side of things to do anything that could preserve his body. The bag should do a basic amount. Very well. At the very least, to give him a proper burial should we leave. Right. I begin to, as respectfully as possible, put Adronis in the bag of holding. Very well. I did look up bulk of a medium-sized body, and it will indeed fit. Okay. Set to the task. Karun. Uh, what? yes. What are you doing? Um, well, I'm working on the machine. I've also scooped out a lot of the little bits of teeth and hair and fleshy bits and bone from the other pod, and I've put them in a little cup. Um, I put that on the shelf labeled idiot on the shelf uh, and I'm just kind of scrubbing out the inside okay my question for you is are you actually trying to repair this machine uh, I haven't quite decided yet I'm just trying to clean up all the goo okay I'm trying also to see if I can hear any movement of of all of, uh, you know, my friends leaving. Like, escaping. How are you Can feeling hear... about all this? Well, uh, you know, it's kind of rough not um, being uh, elf again. But, uh, you know, I'm here, I have a machine, the hedgehog's in the other room, I can chat with him whenever. I probably have access to some interesting things here. Um, probably at some point I'll try to kill the Luxy man and escape myself. Kanipo, you mean? Sorry, uh, Kanipo, yes. So you get to the task of cleaning the pods. Kanipo's shadow sits and washes as you do this. What is the lighting situation in this room? Well, now that the pods aren't really functioning, it's quite a bit dimmer. All right. You you would call this dim light then? Yes. And I would like to um, concentrate really hard to see if I can manifest the shadows that I was seemingly able to control for a bit in the pod. Am I able to do this? To blend with the shadows? Yes, you are. Interesting. It's then as I would if like. Your shadow itself wraps around you and you become a bit dimmer and it's a lot easier to blend into shadows and dark places interesting then as I work on the machine I will be blending my shadow with it whilst I sabotage it all right I would like you to make first off the Okay. Um, I think 
that um, you can go ahead and make a... I would say this is Arcana or Occultism. Oh, no. I'm going to use a point. Hero point, okay. That's all. not even worth it. <laughs> okay. 14 this time. Um, you are having many troubles doing this. I think a 14 doesn't mean, like, something blows up or anything like that, but you're having mm -hmm. a lot of trouble sabotaging it. I don't think you know enough about this machine to really... Um, sabotage it the way that you want to, which, f from my perspective, would be something along the lines of a catastrophic explosion. Is yes. that is that what you were thinking? That's what I wanted. Yeah. I don't think I don't think you can quite figure out exactly how to do that right now. Uh, maybe if you spend a little bit more time with the machine. All right. Then I'll just be working very slowly in the dark. With my shadows. Okay. You will spend more time doing this. Giving the other group an opportunity to do some things. Uh, we can say another hour passes or so. <sighs> as you continue trying to make some kind of plan. I would be spending time. I, ta I can take ten minutes. Uh, it seems more or less unlimited amounts to refocus and regain focus points. Basically, I just commune with Essia as a witch. And when I get focus points back, I will use life boost, boosting my natural healing. Very well. During this time period where I would not have been able to, uh, treat the others, I would have also been refocusing in order to lessen my curse, taking a moment to breathe, control those breaths, collect myself, and you'd notice the ripples and the scratches and the scars on my face start to kind of retract slightly. As I bring it down to a minor curse and I renew one focus point. If I have time to do this and commune for a total of a half hour, I would be back at full health. You do. All right. The lizard-like regeneration continues around Arashtok. See wounds close up. It would look like I'm almost meditating with Essia curled in my lap. Mm. With nothing else to do, I will sit up against a wall and pull out my journal. I will write about Adronis and his final moments. In that time, uh, would enough time have passed for me to go ahead and begin to treat Arcelia? Or would it still not be enough, since I know that Arashtok treated him before? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know how the tree wound... It's an hour cooled down. one hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. All right. I will be doing that at a trained level using my assurance. And Darcelia will receive 13 points of healing. Thank you. Of course. Let me just wrap this up. I know you're writing. Oh, the Sorry. heart's right there. You said we need to regain our, regain our strength, yes? Mm. Yes. <sighs> right. I'm thankful for Karun buying us this time. Yes. But I know not what we are going to do. I'm... My, spill, my spells are still limited. There is only so much I can do. Are mine. Do Perhaps. we rest? Maybe they, maybe we will be able to get a full night. I doubt it. 
But perhaps... Perhaps... Try to sleep. I'll let you know if something happens. I... Do my best to rest. If we we get woken up, we get woken up. I am um, wrap my fingers around the flute, and I attempt to sleep as well. I keep watch. So the way that long-term rest works is you have to spend an entire day and night resting during downtime to recover hit points to your constitution modifier multiplied by twice your level. So this basically will take 24 hours. If we're given it, we're in a cage. Mm. Okay. Um, here's the question, Karun. Um, yes. Are you going to continuously try to sabotage this machine or are you going to actually try to repair it? Or are you going to uh, do something I'm, else? The idea is that I will make it look as though I am repairing the machine, but in fact, I will be trying to e invoke some sort of chemical reaction with it mm -hmm. in order to sabotage it. Okay. Uh, this will be a deception check. Very well. Wow. Amazing. Oy. 22 clutch rolls today. Wow. <sighs> okay. Um... You think you got that sorted. Um, it doesn't look like you've done anything bad to this machine. Um, now, make an Arcana check. Let's see how good of a job you've done to actually do what you want to do. Okay. Um, I think that you still have not managed to make it oh, no. sort of explode or do anything along those lines. But it has looked, you've done a tremendous job of making it look like you have actually been working, you're actually trying to repair this, and there hasn't seemed to be any pressure put on you. Thanks, Shadows. Um, you're going to spend a good chunk of the day doing this. Um... Do you work until you drop? Do you try to take any sort of a break? Do, wh wh how do you think you handle that? Well, I feel a sensation of being hungry for food now, um, which I don't like. So I will be eating some of the rations I have in my pack okay. that I save for birds and tiny mammals and I'll have some of that to keep me going okay you but it's like a working sleep? lunch oh yeah I'll take a little nap too okay as you begin to head to sleep uh Kanipo will make their presence known again. Ugh. Um, as you head to bed, Kanipo appears at the top of the stairs, dim light lit behind, and you hear falling asleep ah. so soon. <sighs> Scared me, master. <laughs> I'm awake now, sorry. Oh. I've been working diligently on the machine. I just needed a tiny little break for my weak little body now. Yes. You've been working diligently. At least so it appears. Yes. I would remind you. Mm. Half elf. Mm. Do not betray me. 
Master. Me? You have seen now what has happened to my servant. It was gross. Your friends are still in the cage. Yes. in a strange and different body. Mm -hmm. That's right. A body that does not feel your own. No, it doesn't. Sorry. When I awoke thousands of years ago, I had no kin. There were boogies, boogeymen. You just wanted the shadows, but they bullied you. I'm so sorry. That's awful. I sought shelter in the court of Count Ranalk, eldest of shadows and chaos. Kanipo is like getting closer as they're saying this. There's this yeah. horrific, I mean, it's a horrific presence that's sort of, you know, getting closer, but they're still like yeah. opening up and it is horrific. I saw myself as mm -hmm. a progenitor, a new oh. fae. It was my destiny to rule a realm of my own. I one day came across an odd corpse of a human in the wild yeah, shadow forests of Nightwolf. They were bearing strange carved leaf. It was some sort of key. As Kanipo reaches up to their collarbone, mm. they start to pat around wildly. The key. Where is the key? Where is the key? I don't know. I don't have any key. No! Did the Luxie man have it? 
Ebo begins to look around wildly. You see shadows begin to fly up the walls and, and you can see like outlines of Kanipo's form looking as if they are enraged upon the shadows. You see lights sort of flicker all around you and Kanipo gets close to you. You, your friends, they took it, didn't no. they? I'm sure it was Luxie, man. Did you see the way he was looking at you? <laughs> Kanipo falls into the shadow and appears in front of the cage before you. Orashtak, Arcelia, Yara. Suddenly, Kanipo is there. The key! What have you done with it? I have done nothing with it. I do not know where it is. Did you not have it? Kanipo like bends down towards the bars and looks at you wide-eyed. Make I would like to stand in front of my companions okay. and hold them behind me. Okay. Yara, make a uh, deception check. Well, to be fair... <laughs> oh, here we go. I mean, it's the same thing either way, but to be fair, Yara actually doesn't know where the key is. It's true. But and she Yara's does know never that, a drone, that a drone has had it, so it is still deception, but just okay. want to point that out. Okay, you don't have to do a deception, but you, <gasps> do you know? Okay. He says, uh... What have you asked the key? I know it. Or your friend, where are they? Where is the body? And that is where we're going to end the episode today. If you haven't done so, please check out the new merch store over at merch.tablestory.tv where you can check out the green rooms. And I'm guessing today's is going to be pretty spicy. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.